The Western Kenya Community Driven Development and Flood Mitigation Project, WKCDD and FMP, is an eight year project implemented through the Ministry of Devolution and Planning. WKCDD and FMP is a community partnership initiative between the Government of Kenya and the World Bank. Its development objective is to empower local communities to engage in wealth creation activities, lower the incidence of poverty, and reduce the vulnerability of the poor to adverse effects associated with recurrent flooding. Niko kwa kikundi inaitwa Matsu. Na niliingia kwa hii kikundi kwa maana nifanikiwe na family yangu. Tangu niliingia kwa hii kikundi nilipatiwa ngombe na hii ngombe inaleta mapato. Mapato yenyewe ni mbolea natumia kwa kuweka kwa Napier Cross natumia kwa kupanda mahindi na kasi ingine tu hata mboka inanisaidia The project is co-financed by the local community Government of Kenya GOK and the World Bank through the International Development Agency and covers five counties of Western Kenya namely Bungoma Busia Kakamega, Sia, and Vihiga. These projects are geared to us addressing poverty and creating job opportunities, uh, opening up markets, access to markets by the farmers, and that's why we have the bridges, uh, food bridges, uh, school children can access schools. <laughs> The project has played a major role towards reduction of poverty and wealth creation among communities towards achieving Kenya's vision 2030. Tulifanya mafunzo yetu kwa siku 21. Nikawa mmoja ambaye nilipaitika kwa mradi huo nikapewa ngombe. Kutokea pale nilifurahia sana. Maisha yangu ilianza kuwa mazuri. Uh, tena kwa saa hizi nimefaulu kupata ndama ambayo ninachifunia na nina, kuna faida ingine ambayo ninapata ambayo ni maziwa ninaitumia kwa familia yangu kulingana na mafunzo pia nimefaitika sana kama mimi mlemavu nilikuwa naomba omba sana kwa njia lakini kuto, kutokana na mafunzo yenye nimefunzwa pale Nimefaitika sana kwa sababu sasa siwezi waenda kuomba omba kwa njia na napata pesa zangu kutoka kwa, kutoka kwa ngombe hata saa zingine napanda miti kidogo hapa naweza uza tena napata pesa kidogo uh -huh. 
The project's development objective is being achieved through empowered communities that can manage their own development in a sustainable and socially inclusive manner, reduce vulnerability of the community to adverse outcomes associated with recurrent flooding, ensure smooth implementation of the project. Kitambo kwa sisi kama community yenye tunakaa ndani wanaangalia kuku kama kitu tia kufuga kama as part of the culture. Lakini watu wanaanza kuyangalia in terms of commercial value. What commercial value has they gained? So it may change the attitude ya, com ya community kuangalia kuamba yes we can get money from this poultry yenye tunafuga tu in a simple way. Members at least wana hiyo continuous income ya hiyo ya hiyo returns za kuku so to employ watu when you are constantly kwa hiyo overturn zetu ziko kati ya sahi bado ziko kati ya 60 to 100000 per month Implementation of the project is designed to be achieved through three main components, namely community-driven development, flood mitigation, implementation support. The Community Driven Development, CDD Investment, focuses on supporting the promotion of livelihoods, income generating activities, and initiatives supporting vulnerable groups. Information, communication, and technology centers for the physically challenged people have been constructed. We started it under the tree besides moving from church to church without having permanent residence. And then finally, the Kenya Union of the Blind decided to purchase a Swaneka piece of land to start this project. Western Kenya came in uh, when they started a project in Busia County, especially Tesso North Sub-County, but when the steering group of the Western Kenya program, checked it and they saw the, the, what the project was very good and it was to help the community. I think they have uh, scaled it. Since we started the project, we have seen two members of disability fraternity who have been trained here. They have been employed. At least those who are illiterate also, at least they have acquired some level of literacy for them to be self-reliant. The investments are aimed at raising productivity within the communities through improved technical knowledge and marketing. Cooperative society hii ilianza kama group ndogo ambayo wakulima walijumuika kwa pamoja wakiwa na malengo ya kufanya biashara. Western Kenya iliweza kutu train baada ya hiyo training tulikuwa na wazo kwamba tuwe na mtambo wa cooling plant. Western Kenya waliweza kukubali makadirio hayo na wakaweza kuweka mikakati na wakulima. Miongoni mwa hiyo mikakati ilikuwa ni kwamba wakulima waweze kuchangia 30% of the contribution. Western Kenya iliweza kununua vifaa pia ikaweza kutujengea jengo ambalo nimesimama ndani yalo na wakulima wakaweza pia kuchangia the 30%. Miongoni mwa vitu ambavyo waliweza kufanya pia ilikuwa ni kutrain wakulima wakaweza kupatia communities ngombe za maziwa wakaweza pia kupeana greenhouses na pamoja na hayo yote wakaweza pia kupeana exposure kwa wakulima wetu. Kwa sasa hivi mtambo huu unafanya kazi. Natangia wakati huo wakulima wamekuwa na vitu vingi ambavyo wamefaidika kutokana na mtambo huu na training kutoka kwa Western Kenya. 
hii ya kufuga ngombe training pia nyingine ambao wamepata ni ya AI wamepata pia kupata biashara kutokana na kuuza maziwa yao bei imetoka kutoka kwa shilingi 22 hadi shilingi 34 volume ya maziwa imeweza kuongezeka kutokana na zile ngombe ambazo walinunuliwa na Western Kenya pamoja na mengine ambao wamepata pia ni kule kupata ajira kwamba kuna wazee pamoja na akina mama ambao wana transport maziwa haya na wanalipwa shilingi tatu kufikisha maziwa katika mtambo huu wetu wa mautuma. Pamoja na hayo pia wanafunzi wamepata nafasi ya kupata school fees kutokana na maziwa ambayo yanauzwa. Tumeshirikiana na shirika la Brookside ambalo linachukua maziwa yetu kwa bei nzuri na vile vile pia ajira kwa wale ambao wamekuwa hapande mwingine pia wakulima wameweza kupata lishe bora kutokana na mifugo ambayo sasa tunayo kwa sababu ya maziwa ambayo tunapata. Micro project grants are provided to the groups and beneficiaries are required to contribute 30% in either cash or in kind to the micro project cost. <laughs> We started our operations about two and a half years ago uh, as villagers who belong to this area. When Western Kenya community-driven group came to our sub-location, invited us to join uh, as a project, and we decided to continue with the fish farming. And they, in turn, gave us three more fish cages, which we have installed in the lake, but we also have a community interest, and therefore we have uh, identified about 20 orphans who are very badly off and some 15 widows and we decide on what percentage of our income to give these people to help them to get their daily requirements. Farmers have been introduced to modern cassava farming, cereal banking, fodder farming, and grain amaranth production. The project has played a major role in ensuring communities are able to fundraise, save income, and venture into business enterprises through table banking. Hapa tunapo, tumeka katika kikundi cha Ruambwa Revolving Fund, Table Banking. Huwa tunakopa pesa, tunakopesha na pesa na tunarudisha kwa faida. Kwa manfaa ya kutusaidia nyumbani, katika biashara na katika kulipia ata watoto school fees. Na shukuru sana, hii kikundi yetu naendelea vizuri. Na tulipa pesa na watu wa Western WCDDC. Yo tunaendeleza hii mradi wetu wa table banking. Kukopa na shilingi elefu kumi. Yo shilingi elefu kumi ilinisaidia kununua chakula cha ngombe. 
niko na ngombe ya dairy farming ku boost maziwa kwa sababu nipate daily profit ya kila siku nilinovate nyumba ambayo ilikuwa ya matope nikaweka simiti nikakopa pesa zingine nikaweka kwa shamba nikalimia mchele hiyo mchele pale nilikuwa nikivuna magunia manne sita wakati huu baada ya kukopa pesa nilipata faida nikapata magunia kumi na tano. kwa sababu nilinunua mbolea nikafanya top dressing na nikapatia watu wakalimwa kwa wakati bila kuchelewa under support to local development communities have been assisted to engage in cottage industries and value addition projects like food processing and milk cooling plants kundi hiki kilianzishwa kwa kupatiwa msaada na West na World Bank kupitia Western Kenya tuko katika sehemu ya tatu ya kikundi hii ya value addition value addition hii iko hapa Serem ambapo mashini imenunuliwa na World Bank kupitia kwa West Kenya ambao iko hapa Serem Market Mashini hii inatengeneza vitu mbalimbali. Inatengeneza banana grips, inatengeneza potato grips, inatengeneza banana flour, inatengeneza banana pal. Kula hivi banana grips na potato grips tunaziuza katika sokoni market locally. Tunaziuza kwa locally kwa hivi sasa kama hapa Serem. Kikundi hiki kimebeba watu zaidi ya 40 beneficiary ni watu zaidi ya 300 e, initial farmers ambao waanzilishi walikuwa watu 40 tulianza kazi hii kwa ugumu sana na saa hii mahala ambapo tulianza kupanda mandizi mabuya ma, mandizi tumevuna sasa paka hapa tumefika kwa value addition In infrastructural development, the project has assisted in rehabilitating access roads, constructing culverts, and improving water supply projects. This project was started this year through training that we received from Western Kenya, PSD training. We come together and we form a community-based organization called Masat Water Community-Based Organization. And in that regard, we think on how we can get resources to install water towers or water kiosk or whatever. The households that benefit from this water at now is 1,114 households. There is a reduction of the diarrheal diseases in our community. It was not easy for an old mama to travel six kilometers with 20 liters on top of her head to the compound. But you see now, even old mamas can come with those particular uh, liters to collect water. Another benefit is that we as a community initiates and creates employment to our community members. The main outcomes of the CDD strategy are enhanced communities' ability to plan, manage, and implement prioritized investments within their communities. Bila mradi huu wetu hasa ya ngombe wa kulima sisi kama Katamex kadumtu maisha ilikuwa magumu. Kwanza tulikuwa na njaa nyingi sana katika community. Mashamba tuko nazo lakini hatungeweza kuzilima na kupanda vile inatakikana. Kwa saa hii tangu tupate mradi at least maisha imebadilika. Sisi chakula tunao. Hata saa hii ukija hapa kwetu mahindi ni shilingi 40 na gorogoro kwa sababu tumelima tuna chakula. Tuko na mahindi, wimbi tuko nayo, mwogo. Saa hizi hata mwanachama hatuna stress ya kulipa school fees. 
kama mtoto ako day school sasa hivi leo wanafungua shule wengi wamepeleka tu mahindi shuleni mtoto analipua school fees na una chakula kingine ya kutosha kukula kwa bomba kanuka in shongo a project la beka in shongo ki bilust ko to ma ki jara ko si alomun ka pal pal tu ayar shongo na ma beina shonda dum na iborne be shonga ki tingite ka dum ni nyamendi liskna kam ko ko to ma aduge to ko si In terms of, of community empowerment, a lot is happening. I'm not here to be told, but personally, I've actually led uh, various committees to go and uh, see the progress of these projects. Let me take this opportunity on behalf of the government to thank our development bank, uh, the partner, that is uh, World Bank. And uh, GOK has also done partly to contribute to uh, this project. Thank you.